size. This was a, a play Ooh. up online leading up to this. You know, Nyla Rose was really digging into Layla Hirsch's size, you know, so they brought out a little stool for her. So it was <laughs> to get a little more height, but um, that's a good point. You have essentially, like you said, in a pre-show of David versus Goliath and just yes. in terms of pure size. But, um, you know, I think we talked about Tay Conti like being one of the most, you know, growth she's had in the ring. And I think Layla is at the top of this as well in terms of growth in the ring. You know, some of her stuff from early on was a lot of ground and pound, which she still has, but now she's gone to the top. She did some, you know, this impressive moonsault doing these impressive things off the top rope, you know, diving through the ropes. Like she's really, you know, expanded her in-ring work. And I think she really showed up against, you know, the former champ, the native beast, as you call the gatekeeper of AEW. Yep. Uh, I was, you know, convinced multiple times that she was going to steal the win. And even the commentators, you know, were saying not necessarily stealing the win but deserving that win you know it was a well-fought match obviously the clear size difference had a huge play in it but she really um made the most of her opportunities when she was on the ground being able to get those try to get those arm bars in and different holds and things like that but i mean when you get a avalanche bomb off the top rope oh. no one's kicking out of that i don't care who you are man that is a was a brutal power bomb to say the least i mean you could feel that you can like almost feel like the rattling of the ring from yeah. watching it through your TV of how, yeah. how brutal that was, man. And so, I, yeah, yeah. Whew. I mean, and, but SPD, this is like, this plays off that trend that I talked to you about is like the win win situations, right. right? Like the book, like when you have smart booking, it's very possible for both competitors to come out looking better. And this is another example of that, right? Like right. you have Nyla who, like you talked about, that avalanche bomb would put anybody away. The way that she <laughs> delivered that avalanche bomb, bro, that was brutal. So you had you 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 really leaned into like solidifying Nyla as the next contender for Brit. You know, mm -hmm. you you had her look dominant and showcased her strength and why she is, I feel like the gatekeeper of the AEW women's division. Yep. She, she, if she is that, that boss, that if you can get past the, the native beast, then you are, you're, you're established essentially. Mm -hmm. um, and I, and I feel like you clearly did that and you did that very well in this match, but then legit Layla also comes out looking that much better in the end too. You have this size disparity that a casual viewer, when you see those two go head to head and you right. see this little bulldog just fighting her heart out, given everything she has, it, it naturally, I mean, the crowd was going hot for Layla last night, man. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, I mean, I, I was at home. This was a match that I was getting very invested in as a, as a viewer, I, I wanted sure. to see this one. I wanted to see what Layla could do. I wanted to see how she could overcome the, this obstacle. And although she came up short, she came out looking better in the end, you know, just yeah. being able hitting that, like when she did that rollover German soup release German suplex from the outside into the ring, that was a beautiful move. And I was dying to see L Layla suplex the native beast. That know, is, that's that something great. that was a beautiful thing. I mean, hitting that release German on Nyla was fantastic. Um, so I really liked how this story played out. You got to see that scrap. You, they built into that scrappy underdog and Layla, that, that tough nosed fighter who's not going to back down from who, no matter who the challenge is. Sure. It really established that with Layla's character. And then it also put, Nyla, I mean, it, it put Nyla back in the, the, the mainstay of, of the viewer's attention. This is a woman who is absolutely a powerhouse. And if you're a DMD fan like me, you, <laughs> you, you look at it like, all right, Nyla beat Brit in the women's tournament. Sure. Ny Nyla is a, a former women's champion herself. She looks as focused and angry as ever. It's, yeah. This is a real challenge for the DMD is for her first title defense in the, in the DMD era. Um, really thought this was a smart play by AEW's booking. This was this show overall just felt like a very intelligently booked show, and this was a, a perfect example of that. <laughs>